Robin have a severe traumatic brain injury. This is because I was convinced that I was invincible. Four seconds can change the rest of your life. Anything that takes your eyes off the road is considered distracted driving. So she's driving her car down the road, right? Her text message goes off, and what does she do? Because we're trained by our phone, we typically respond without even thinking about it, right? But in reality, what she's doing is, is she's driving down the road like this for 12 seconds. Anybody cool with that? Driving down the interstate with your eyes closed for 12 seconds? That's what she's doing. And that's what you do every time that you pick up a phone. He made that choice that night to drink and drive. And he'll tell you all that today it's not worth it, that none of it is worth it. He could go back and change it, he would. Listen to Richard's story and make better choices and not to drink and drive. To call someone, to call your parents, yeah, they're gonna be mad at you. We would have locked, rather see you in the back seat of that patrol car or at that jailhouse than in this wheelchair or in that board. So you have choices. Five seconds in my life turned around completely. My phone goes off. So I reach down, pick up my phone. It's my buddy. Hey, where are you at? You're running late. Let's go. Hurry up. So I'm texting him back, you know, and all of a sudden my Jeep starts flipping. I don't even know what happened. I don't have seatbelt on. My head's up under the passenger uh, dashboard and my feet are pointed up under the steering wheel. And uh, they, they bring me into the uh, emergency room and they slide me over on the table. And when they roll me over, all my arms and my legs just flop off the table. But I couldn't pick them back up to bring them back on the table. And at that point, I pretty much knew Something serious was bad, or bad, bad, wrong. And I said, okay. He said, I said, so when am I gonna get out of here? He said, well, it's gonna be a while. He said, you're never gonna walk again. You're never gonna have kids. You're gonna have to have a 24 hour nurse. Uh, you'll never be able to drive. Um, you're, you're, I mean, you're gonna be, you're paralyzed. paralyzed. For the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. I'm drinking, getting tattooed earlier that day, and I'm drinking up to no good all day long, and a guy shows up and says, let's go party. Everybody made it home that night. Everybody. Except for me. You seen the picture of the car? Well, in that little neon, I was going around that 30 mile an hour caution curve at a buck 20, 120 miles an hour. Well, I didn't make that first curve. Of course I didn't. Broke my back, fractured my neck, broke my back, shattered T3, T4, busted my spleen, lacerated my liver. Both lungs, by the time I got to the hospital, was collapsed. I was dead on arrival. They brought me back, and I coded twice at the hospital. 32 days on life support before taking my first unassisted breath. Now I'm paralyzed right, right here, T4, my chest. If I lean over and I don't grab that tire, I'm gone. I'm headed to the floor. Paralyzed from the chest down for the rest of my life.
I was rear-ended by a drunk driver who was clocked at 120 miles an hour. My car was knocked off an embankment on uh, down a steep hill uh, tied around a tree. They found my torso on the on the floor of the car, legs wrapped around the steering wheel. Only thing holding me together was a seat belt. People sometimes ask me if I get mad and wonder why this happened to me. I say, why not? Bad things happen to good people. It happens to good people. But no matter what circumstances you find yourself in, you rise up. The same way that you, you're, you're motivated to pass tests at school, you pass that test too. Rise up. You're greater than any challenge. You're greater than any circumstance. Because this has happened to me, thousands of lives all over have been impacted for the good. It was the toughest time of my life. Uh, you know, I had, like every other 15, 16 year old kid playing football, you have dreams of playing in college and that kind of a thing. So all of that was over in a matter of seconds. But oftentimes what happens to you is a direct result of a poor choice that you've made. The decision to drink and drive, to text and drive. Well, you know, you always had the dream of walking down the aisle to your wedding. Well, you may have to roll down the aisle now to your wedding because you're in a wheelchair. Uh, we will help build a ramp and we'll widen the doors in your, in your home so that your chair can get in and out. That dream home that you always wanted, you may not be able to get it because you may have to continue living with mom and dad because they have to take care of you now. They have to bathe and feed you again. I want you to remember one person that means the most to you. That one person that impacted your entire world. That one person that, that means more to you than anybody else in this world. That one person. And I want you to drive for them. Mississippi usually, usually ranks number one, two, three in the nation with teenage driving fatalities. So this collaboration of these agencies, I think it shows the public we're very serious when it comes to teenagers in general. Uh, prom season, it's, it's a really important time for them, but it, it's a dangerous time. Parents, I mean, they're very concerned about this. So we're hoping this program will spread across the state, and we're hoping we're going to get that message to the teenagers. We want you to enjoy prom, but we want you to please return on Monday. That is the goal. We really want to touch the kids. We're bringing real life stories to what we're going to be doing with the kids to tell you what happens. You know, what happens if you drink and drive or if you're hit by a drunk driver or if you choose to text and drive. I mean, it only takes a split second. Please return on Monday, but I'm asking you right now, yes, do that, but please return on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday by making the better decisions.